Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about my top five tips on how to shop more mindfully and how to slow down shopping. Now, I have mentioned this so many times before, but I used to be the girl who would have between three and five parcels arriving at her work every single week. It was completely out of control, the amount that I was shopping, and I really needed to figure out a way to make myself stop. I tried shopping bans, which never worked because eventually I'd see something pretty that I liked, and I'd end up buying it, and then the entire cycle would start all over again. Um, but it wasn't until I really kind of um, took control of my wardrobe, what I was putting into it, and really thought a lot more carefully about what I was buying that I managed to break that cycle and I feel like I've been making much more successful purchases and new additions to my wardrobe ever since. So I'm going to share my top five tips and I hope you guys find these helpful. So let's get right into it. Step one is to adopt a one-in, one-out policy. So if you're not familiar with this, essentially what it means is that every single time you buy something new, you have to get rid of something that you already own. So if you have an entire wardrobe full of things that you absolutely love and that you wear all the time, this is going to be a really tough decision. You know, you're going to be in the shop thinking, I really love this new blouse, but what am I going to get rid of? And I found that this definitely did stop me from taking things home because I loved everything that I had and a lot of the times what I was looking at buying just wouldn't stack up to what I already own. So I found that this was a really great way to make me think a little bit more carefully about what it was that I was actually buying and whether or not it was going to be worth spending that money on and taking it home with me. Step number two is to keep a shopping journal. Now this is something that I still do and it's something that I absolutely swear by even though it does take a little bit of extra effort and time and commitment to actually do it. But I have this notebook here and what I do is I list every single purchase that I make every single month. I also put what it costs me and at the end of the month I tally up the number of items that I purchase and also the amount that I spend. And what I found is that this really helps me to stay accountable of what it is that I'm buying and it also helps me to identify when I'm maybe getting a little bit too spendy, buying a few too many things so that I can just reel myself back and think, okay, do I really need to be shopping so much? I also find it's great for comparison as well because I can kind of see how I'm tracking over the course of the year and it's also helped me to see how my shopping has decreased from year to year. Step number three is to be patient. There is this really cliche saying that good things come to those who wait. And I definitely think that's true when it comes to your wardrobe as well. I used to think that if I didn't buy something straight away that it was gonna go out of stock and I was going to completely miss my golden opportunity to take it home and add it to my wardrobe. What I found is that actually waiting two to four weeks before buying something helps me to make much better decisions when it comes to my wardrobe. Quite often I would take things home just because I loved the way it looked on in the store and I didn't really think too much about how it was going to work with my wardrobe or even the consequences of spending that money. So having the time to go away and think about it definitely helps and I've also found that a lot of the time whatever it was that seemed so shiny and new in the store after a day or two you've kind of forgotten about it and the things that you do continue to think about for a month are definitely things that are probably going to be a worthwhile investment for your closet. Step number four is to ask yourself, is this versatile? Now, I usually like to use the rule of thumb of, does it go with three different things in my closet? Can I create three different looks from this one item? If I can, then it's kind of a no-brainer. Might as well take it home, it's going to work with what I have. Usually I try and stick within a very neutral colour palette. You guys know if you have seen any of my lookbooks, uh, which I'll link down below or up here so you can check one out if you haven't, that yeah, I tend to stick between more of a, like a monochromatic with a few blush, navy, grey hues in there as well. That's sort of what I tend to gravitate towards. And if anything sort of sits outside that kind of colour scheme, then I definitely think twice about bringing it home with me. I find obviously there are the odd exceptions, like cocktail dresses. Luke and I don't really tend to go out too often and when we do it's usually straight after work so I'm not really going to go through the hassle of getting changed. But when we do have special occasions like friends engagement parties or weddings or those sorts of things then definitely I do want to have a nice dress for those so I have a small selection of dresses which I know I'm only going to reach for maybe once or twice a year but that doesn't bother me because I feel really good in them and I feel like they were worthwhile additions to my wardrobe. My final tip is to try a capsule wardrobe. So as you guys know, I'm no longer doing capsule wardrobes anymore and I have done a whole video on why I decided to give up the capsule wardrobe. 
But the whole reason why I was drawn to capsule wardrobes in the first place is because I really wanted to take control of my closet and really think more carefully about what it was that I was adding into it and also get a lot more use out of the things that I loved. And I found that it has definitely helped me. My habits have changed so much over the last few years and I found that I had some really invaluable learning experiences throughout that entire process. In addition to kind of finding my own style and figuring out what does and doesn't work for me, it also really did help me to pull back my spending on clothing and just be a lot smarter with my purchases. So definitely something that I would consider. Obviously it's not for everybody, but I found that in my personal situation, it did really help and it assisted me kind of on my journey towards being a bit more mindful about my purchases. So those were my top five tips for shopping more mindfully. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you're able to take something away from it. Obviously those aren't the only things out there that I know that can help you to be a little bit more careful with what you add into your wardrobe. If you've got any particular tips that you'd like to share, please pop them in the comments down below. I'd really love to read what you guys do to be a bit more careful with your new additions to your wardrobe. And and yeah, if you did like it, do give the video a thumbs up and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!